All right. I am super excited to show you how I use Lex. So this is um, just a quick tour of what I think are the most useful features. And I'm doing it showing you this very email that you just read. You'll see right here is where the link would go. Uh, I, this is the previous link showing the new features. This is the one um, giving a quick refresher on Lex. So let me just kind of give you a tour of the main, the main things. So there's, of course, all the basic stuff of how to write a document. I want to jump to the AI features. I'll get to some of the cool, just like better document editing software stuff later. So AI, what did I use? The main thing, honestly, the most useful one, I love this Ask Lex. Let me go to my previous thread, uh, this one. I love this just, I literally click, if you if you click on a new chat, this get feedback on your draft, I click this almost every time. So let me go back to it. All I did is I just clicked that button and that generates all this. And um, basically it's just asking you to like, how can I make this more interesting? How do I make it more unique? How do I make it more clear? All that kind of stuff. And so there's, uh, it gives a lot of good feedback. One of the things that it said that really stood out to me is these videos, introducing videos is great, but there's no real sell of why someone should watch them. What can they learn from it or what's in it for them? This is reacting to, actually, let me go back to my previous version. In the first version of it, I said, um, here's a short video I created showing what's new with a video. And I think rightfully, uh, the, the AI pointed out, you know, that's not like an amazing sell. So what I ended up doing was, uh, what did I write? Here's a four minute video showing how to use these new features to produce more effective writing. And um, I based that actually on what it told me to do was, I, so I said, I basically rep replied kind of quoting a part of the message. And I said, can you give me an example of how I would do this? Also, this little thing, it's like a markdown shortcut for uh, a quote. I'll show you really quick. Um, if you do something like this, this is a block quote. So the AI kind of understand that's a quote. Anyway. I said, can you give me an example of how I do this? Because I thought, uh, it is a good idea to just say more than here's a short video, but like, I don't know, what should I say? And it said, uh, want to see how new, how Lex's new AI powered features can level up your writing? Check out this quick two minute demo. And it's not exactly right. Like it's not quite the tone that I would go for, but for me, I could read that and I could say, okay, cool. I know, I know how to, how I can make this a little bit more in my own tone. So I ended up writing, here's a four minute video showing how to use these new features to produce more effective writing. And I think that that's the exact kind of thing. If you get a couple of those every hundred words, it's like so valuable, just the, the reader attention and the reader clarity that they'll get of why they should watch it. Um, really makes a big difference. Cause I, I find that going from okay to good or good to great is largely a matter of just these little things with each step of the flow. Another thing that I did is I ran checks. So the main one, I think this one that really was helpful was brevity. I did actually run grammar as well. And I always think that I don't have any grammar errors cause I'm like a pretty good writer, but it always finds one or two, but I ran brevity and I'll run it again. I already accepted a bunch. Oh, it's only going to run it on that because I had it selected. Let me, sorry, let me run it on the whole thing. It is cool if you just want to run checks on like a part of your piece. So it goes through and, you know, a complete, that's not really more brief. Uh, the, I don't necessarily need the word because there. So it goes through and I just usually look through those. It takes like five to 10 minutes. And I find that it's really, it's usually it goes a little bit further than I would go, but I accept maybe like 30, 40% of its suggestions and I find it makes the piece a lot better. So that's another good one. Um, and, and those are, oh, the other big thing is I used our new document context. So I have the, what are you writing? It's an email announcing new features in Lex and the, who is the intended audience? This one I really filled out with some degree of depth because I feel like this one matters the most. And, and it actually used this when it was generating this kind of like overall feedback on the thing. I thought that was really good. Oh, one other, one other thing I did, I clicked the identify weak arguments one. And, um, I actually, I actually just found one. Uh, it says the introduction is friendly and engaging, but doesn't make a strong case for why the reader should care about these updates or upgrade to Lex pro consider adding a brief preview of how these features will concretely benefit the reader. And I think that's totally two big updates for you today to help you unlock your best writing, something like that might be good. That's like maybe a little bit, uh, maybe I don't need for you today to make the product even better. I don't know, something like that. But basically like I'll, I'll have to, I'll have to think about, it'll take me a little bit longer to think about it, but I'm going to put something in this first 
couple words that already starts to get, speak to the value proposition because it's true. It's, you know, this is all right, but it needs to sort of get to the point a little bit faster. Um, and then another one, uh, there was another good one. Oh yeah. The time limited discount. So at the bottom, uh, we're talking about how the price increase is going to go up. It says is a nice nudge, but it could be framed in a more enticing way. Quantify the savings to directly emphasize that this is the last chance to get a best possible deal. So if it's, uh, basically I could say like, Oh, you save 45 bucks a year or whatever, like something like that. Um, locks in your price and effective discount of 45 per year. That is a nice, I should just drive it home by doing the math for people. <laughs> Cause I say the price here and then I don't say it here. So that's a really nice little tweak. Um, and so usually I just work through all that feedback. It's super helpful. Um, and then maybe one last thing I'll show you before we go some just quick editing tips. So this command K is great. You can like, uh, one thing that I actually really love is maybe let's say this is going into like an HTML email or whatever. I'll select all this. I'll hit command K and oops, I'll select it all. I hit command K and then I'll say markdown and you can copy it as markdown or HTML. Copy it as HTML. That's really handy, um, to do there. Another good, these are just little shortcuts that a lot of people don't know. So if you type like two pound signs and then hit space, it creates a heading two. Uh, if you type, you know, four and hit space heading four, if you type this and then space, it's a block quote. Um, what are the, what are some of the other good ones? Uh, three hyphens is a, becomes a line like this. So these are based on markdown, but it, you know, you don't have to worry about markdown or see the like formatting codes. It just makes it, makes it really easy to write as you go. Um, what are some other good ones? Yeah, these are really the main things. I use versions, I use asklex, I use checks. Um, this is new, we'll talk about this soon. We're gonna announce it soon. Uh, some of the stuff in here is also pretty new. This is actually a fun one that's coming soon, a quick teaser, visualizing sentence length. I find that if you vary your sentence length between long sentences and short sentences, it's really nice. So this is a good way to sort of visually see, do you have enough variety in your piece? That's not ready yet, it's coming soon. Um, yeah, these are some of the main things. And then you can always share the document. You can share the edit link with folks and then they can collaborate with you just like a Google doc. You know, they can leave comments. Um, oh, you know what? This is another thing that I, that I really do a lot actually is I use ask Lex and as a comment. So you can, the Google docs thing is like anyone can see these comments that has the document with you. You can, you can get feedback from folks using comments, all that. It, it shows up in real time. It's all nice like that. But also, uh, I can say something like, um, you know, can I state the benefits or uh, how it works more clearly? Because one of the pieces of feedback I got in the AI was like, it's kind of hand wavy, like, oh, get better feedback in your writing. Like how, you know? And so usually when, I, when I'm writing, <laughs> oftentimes I will get some feedback like that and it'll make sense to me or I'll, maybe even a part of me will just know for me now, mostly it comes from the AI, but it used to be like I, a part of me would know, like I need to be more specific with this, but it would feel like a huge pain. And then I would see this sort of, but now what I can do is, and so I wouldn't do it, you know, but now what I do is I would see the suggestion from the AI and it'll tell me a lot more about like, it'll give me an example basically. And then I can sort of take it from there. This I think is too long though. Um, so I might say, I think I worry that's too long. Can we do it in like one sentence? And I'll just have these kind of chats with the AI as I'm going. And it, it feels so nice to just have it right here in the document. I mean, I would, you could do this with like copy and paste in the chat GPT and go back and forth, but to have these level of converse edit sort of conversations, about a specific line in a piece to have the AI have the context of like your whole piece and, but no, like specifically what you highlighted. It's kind of rough. So yeah, custom instructions. I think that's the key word. So here's what I'm going to do. Actually, uh, I'm going to resolve this through custom instructions. I'll leave that part pulled in. Okay, cool. So it's just slightly more specific now. I think, people will get a better hint of what it's about. Um, 
So anyway, that's how I use Lex. You just saw me use some of it in real time as I was uh, editing this email that you just received. Um, yeah, but this is my usual flow. I hope you find it helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Would love to help. I love geeking out over this stuff. Um, also, in our Discord, we have all the Lex Pro subscribers. So if you want to subscribe, you get access to the Discord. And we're all sharing tips, tricks, prompts, maybe, things like that. So thanks so much. And see you again soon.